So let's start with our first question. Who's going to ask the first question? We're going to have a microphone come to you so we can hear you loud and clear. Tell us your name and which school you're from. I'm Callum and I come from High Mill. Hi Callum. What's your question? What was the first poem you wrote and what inspired you? Um, the first poem I ever wrote um, was about a visit to a mental hospital, a, geriat a geriatric ward, an old people's ward in a mental hospital with the youth fellowship. And uh, I got the idea was just sort of on the way home in the bus from it. Um, the first four lines were ringing away in my head and I got them for free. They were, um, we did not really want to go, not very much, but he said it was our Christian duty. And anyway, he'd already booked the bus. <laughs> well, I often used to get wee lines running through, but I never used to finish them. But I got the flu, and I think I'd read every book in the house, and I started mucking around and trying to find out the rest of it. And that's how it is with a poem. You might get, you don't normally get as many as four lines, and the lines that start it might end up in the bin by the time you're finished, but you've got to work hard to get all the rest, unfortunately. Not much of it comes through you know, as divine inspiration. <laughs> and was that, were you still at school when you wrote that? Uh, just leaving school, right. just in my first year at art school. Um, when I was at art school, I was supposed to be drawing all the time and I started writing all the time. And when I was at studying at school, when I was supposed to be studying for my hires and writing essays, I was always drawing. I think, you know, artists and writers are contrary people. And had you, until that moment, and you got the flu and all the circumstances came together for you to write that, had you been thinking? I want to write a poem. Well, I'd, I'd scribbled wee odd lines. I must have wanted to, but I didn't know I could, and I still don't know I can. You know, people sort of say, what's it like to be a poet? And I say, I'll i say, well, I'll tell you the next time I write a poem, <laughs> um, because you only are a poet for a few days after you've written a poem. Actually, I've written one since the new year, so I still feel like a poet. But um, by the end of January, that'll be going away. I'll need to write something else, <laughs> or I don't deserve the, the title. Great question, Callum, thank you. And we've yeah, got a question. second question from here. Hi, I'm Dylan from Govan Academy. What did you intend to show about the role of women in society in Mary Queen of Scots got her head chopped off? Um, that really, <laughs> you know, um, the story was the story. Um, uh, in Mary Queen of Scots got her head chopped off, it's a story really of Mary. It's about a particular time in history when we had two queens on the one green island and the one Green Island was split into two kingdoms, but no equal kingdoms. Nobody in their right mind would insist on that. So it's a terribly relevant old play in a way. But um, at that time, there was Queen Elizabeth on the um, throne in England, and there was Mary on the throne in Scotland. And uh, they were obsessed with each other, and they never met each other. Um, and when I wrote their story, without trying to do anything different to their story, it talked about a lot of things that are still relevant today. Because Mary wanted to be both a woman and a ruler and be in power, whereas Elizabeth chose to kind of act like a man to keep her power. And that was just, um, I wasn't saying, it, you know, you don't write messages. Norman McCaig, the great Scottish poet, used to say, if you want messages, go to the cooperative. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know, so you don't, you write to write a story. But um, uh, if you write a story relevant to human beings at any time, it will be relevant to our time. And can I ask a, a question? It's interesting to hear about a play there. We're mainly talking about poetry today. Is it um, more difficult to write a play because it's longer and you've got the audience there and you've got all the structure to think about? Or can writing a beautiful, shorter poem be more challenging? Or is um, it just different? It's just different, really, I think. They're just different. Um, and each one of them, when they're cooking by gas, <laughs> feel great. And each one of them, when you're trying to work them out, um, can feel quite despairing, you know. Um, with a play, once it's alive, it's good because you know you're going to get a good six months where you'll be working on this thing. Whereas a poem, you might get it finished in a week or a couple of weeks and then what will you do? Yeah. You'll have to wait for the next good idea. Yeah. So it's all, um, it's all great fun when it's working and it's all awful when it's not working. But don't give up. But don't, don't give, give up, up. no. Um, and enjoy it. Um, yeah, try and don't give up at the bad bit. If you gave up 
at the bit where you were stuck or you weren't enjoying it, you, I wouldn't get in. Yeah, because I suppose much. a lot of people, you know, who, who are watching this might, you know, they've got books of poetry and might think that poet knows how to write poetry and they've done it all in a one hour and, you know, they know how to do it because they're bright or whatever. But actually, it's, it's a struggle. Dream on. <laughs> Dream on. There you go. OK, we've got another question from here. Who's going to ask the question? Tell us your name, where you're from. Uh, Flora from Oban High School. Hi, Flora. How long does it take you to write a poem? How long is a piece of string, Flora? You know, it totally depends. Um, in a way, I think of Mary Queen of Scots got her head chopped off, that play. I think of it as a long poem, in a way. And it only really took about two months writing it, but it was two years not writing it. Mm. Um, writing loads of bits that were not in the play when it was, you know, so I don't know what the answer to that is. And some poems, um, only occasionally have I written a poem in an afternoon. Um, I usually, a week, couple of weeks, not constantly, but going back to it and, you know, keeping work on it for an hour or two every day till, it's, till, it's, till it feels right. And then you might change it later on. It's never really finished, anything that you do, I don't think. 